the incredible Ms. Dancha vs. Marco Mendocino on public safety during the trucker convoy protests in Ottawa. Ms. Dancho demands to know why the Emergency Act was invoked and wants to know what the proof is as to why this extreme measure was enacted. Here's the clip. Yeah, thank you, Chair. I may be using the, the, the my entire six minutes, and I'd like to thank all the witnesses for being here today. Thank you, Minister, for making the time for these important questions on behalf of the public. Uh, Minister, I just want to talk a bit about the thresholds uh, that your government has made the case have been met to invoke this extraordinary power in the Emergencies Act. Um, as you know, the threshold would include a threat to the security of Canada, which includes things like espionage, sabotage, and specifically the support of a threat or the use of serious violence. And that's very much in line with uh, much of your opening remarks, which I'll just quote you. You did say it in French, but um, the English version would have said, it was an absolute necessity that we enacted the emergency measures needed to keep Canadians safe. The invocation of the Emergencies Act sent a clear message to those who decide to participate or support in these illegal protests, including impacting the safety of the public. You also said we will not yield our responsibilities to Canadians. We must inspire their confidence that their safety is protected. Minister, do you believe that our safety was in jeopardy uh, with the protests in Ottawa? Uh, well, certainly the size, scope and scale of the illegal blockades at a number of borders and ports of entry, as well as um, the illegal occupation uh, in Ottawa, uh, met the threshold under the Emergencies Act. Sure, Jan. Um, that uh, advice uh, and that decision to invoke it was informed by nonpartisan uh, professionals, including uh, the commissioner who's uh, on, on with us today, as well as other branches of law enforcement. So, yes. Ms. Dancho, uh, we believe the threshold was met under the Emergencies Act. So you believe that there was a serious threat of violence to you know, the national security of Canada. On February 17th, you also said this is a serious situation. We must resist the temptation to dismiss these, these as isolated incidents. You went on to say the core of the movement is of anger, animosity and violence. And you're uh, referring to if protesters would like to come to Ottawa, uh, you were saying to them, you may be tying yourself to dangerous criminal activity. You also, um, of course, have uh, insinuated that several of the individuals, or you said, and I quote, several of the individuals at Coots have strong ties to a far right extreme organization with leaders who are in Ottawa. So you're again saying these strong ties. So again, do you believe that there was a, a threat to public safety in Ottawa? Well, to be clear, Ms. Dancho, those aren't just my insinuations. Hundreds of charges uh, and arrests have been carried out by law enforcement throughout the course of the illegal blockades, not only in Ottawa, but as well as in uh, Alberta and British Columbia. And I would point out, Ms. Dancho, that those charges are very severe, including conspiracy to commit murder, which carries with it a life sentence. So they're not merely the insinuations of me or the government. Mm -hmm. um, there have, in fact, been a number of very serious and grave criminal investigations uh, which have been carried out and are ongoing. Right. Specifically, though, you're making the argument that the threshold to national security, it's a threat to public safety. You you tied the um, those extremists at Coots to the to the protests in Ottawa. So do you have evidence that there was uh, the threat in Ottawa that you saw at Coots? Well, again, just to uh, clarify, um, those comments related to a number of public reports uh, which had been uh, issued at the time tracking the movements of some uh, in Ottawa to other uh, border points, including in Alberta. But, but I, I would just point out that from the very outset of the illegal uh, blockade, that a number of uh, organizers and, and so-called leaders of the purported um, uh, Freedom Convoy had made a number of uh, profoundly concerning and extremist statements calling for the overthrow of the government uh, through mm -hmm. violence if necessary. Some of the leaders have been quoted as saying again very publicly that uh, that if necessary uh, through the use of bullets and, and other like uh, similar force. So those are all very uh, reported and documented and cataloged uh, in the public domain, Ms. Dencho. So you believe that there was a serious uh, national security threat to public safety. I know the prime minister was also said when he was invoking the act that first day, he said, quote, this, this is about keeping Canadians safe. We will not allow illegal and dangerous activities to continue. So from your remarks and from the prime minister's remarks, you believe the threshold for invoking the act for the purpose of um, that you believe that there's a, there was a national security threat to public safety. Um, so, I mean, Minister, I, I walked to West Block for two weeks past these protests. If there was such a threat to public safety, how could you have allowed members of Parliament to walk by that protest every day? Well, I would say a couple of things in, in response to that, Ms. Dancho. Uh, first, as you know, um, uh, the Sergeant at Arms, in coordination with the, um, 
the Parliamentary Protective Service and uh, the RCMP did offer additional protection for parliamentarians as well as staff who were working on the Hill. But the other thing I would say, Ms. Danchill, is respectfully, um, your experience was not the experience of the many thousands of Ottawans who sure, Dan. were uh, laid but to I would, siege uh, as Ms. a result Minister, of- if I may just interrupt, I, I apologize, but just to be clear, you were saying the extraordinary high thresholds of these incredible, never before invoked emergency powers met the threshold that this was a national public security, public safety security issue, and you connected it to the, the ongoing Zach Coots. You're insinuating that that was happening in Ottawa. That's that's the main argument that you've made for the purpose of invoking this act. And yet I walked every single day for two weeks past these protests. So you can imagine the anxiety that that causes to parliamentarians, to Ottawa staff. Uh, we can go on, but yet there was there was like I, I just don't understand how you could be saying on one hand there's all these strong ties and this is a national emergency for public safety, and I walked every day by these protests. It just doesn't really add up at all. Ms. Minister, Angel, sorry, just, just 10 would, seconds, Minister. Well, please. I would say first, it's not an insinuation. We got the advice from uh, our law enforcement that we'd met the threshold. And secondly, Ms. Dancho, respectfully, Ms. Dancho, like, there were Ottawans who were subjected to intimidation, to harassment, threats of rape. I mean, the, the, the and those were all supported by- so How could we have possibly uh, been allowed and, to walk by that sorry, every day? Sorry, the time has elapsed on uh, this chunk. We now move to-